Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be all about the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So, I've been a huge fan of the Photo Focus line for a really long time now. Um, when they first released their Photo Focus Foundation, I was all over it. I repurchased that one a few times, used two full bottles of it. So, um, I even bought it in like my summer shades. Like, I loved that foundation. It was really, really great. And when I saw that they released the dewy version of it I got super excited because I love dewy foundations and luminous glowy products so I was really intrigued to see how this foundation would be if it was any good all of that stuff and I have been trying it out over the past two weeks I did a first impressions on it and then I thought you know what let's do a full um, review video with a demo and everything like that so you guys can really see what this foundation is really about how it works how it lasts all of that good stuff so um, yeah if you want to know Know all about the new Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Just keep on watching. Alright, so before I get into um, my review on it, my thoughts, all of that, I want you guys to see for yourself. So I did film myself getting ready today, putting this foundation on, um, trying it with other products, and showing you how it applies, how it layers, everything like that. So let me show you guys the demo first. So I don't have anything on my face right now other than like moisturizer and SPF nothing else on. I am going to prime now though and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Um, I've been testing this out recently and I do like it. It's really nice just for um, summer if you want kind of that pore filling effect as well as a little bit of luminosity. So I'm just gonna put this kind of in my t-zone and rub it out. This one blends out super easy too which is nice. Alright, so now that is all done, we can start with the foundation. So I have mine in the shade um, Soft Beige, and it's a great match for me right now because I do have a little bit of a tan going. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on the brush, actually. I like to do a few dabs of that. And the foundation does blend out really nicely and everything like that, so I'm going to this on my skin and I am doing like a full coverage makeup look today so I'm using quite a bit of product and I'm just using this Real Techniques sculpting brush I do like this because I can really just get everywhere on the skin with it down the face too and as you can see already it does have a very dewy look to it So there's one layer of the foundation. You can see how that looks on my skin. As you can see, it blended out beautifully. It does have a very dewy look to it. Very fresh, very skin-like. Um, you can't really see it sitting on the skin, which is nice. But as you saw, we didn't get complete full coverage out of one round. I would say, you know, light to medium. That's kind of what it says too. It says it's buildable coverage. And usually with more luminous foundations, you're not gonna get complete full coverage. Um, like with their regular photo focus, I do see a bit more coverage so now I'm gonna go dot just some extra product on the skin where I want more coverage I'm kind of using this to spot uh, for coverage now rather than the whole face gonna blend it out and in the summer I do like to see a bit of my skin peeking through too so I don't like to hide like all my freckles and everything but you can see it's still buildable. I'm still getting nice and even coverage. And it is covering like redness and scarring and acne and all of that. And it just looks very, very dewy and hydrating on the skin as you can see. All right, now it's time to conceal. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade um, Fair Warm. Now this is a lighter concealer but I'm just gonna be using this mm, like to highlight today and then I'm gonna use the exact same brush just to kind of mix the two colors together I find I get a more uniform look when I use the exact same brush so as you can see that all blended together really nicely and I did definitely get some highlighting in there but 
it all just melted together really nicely. Products blend really well with this foundation, which is really ideal because you don't want things to get muddy or anything like that on your skin. And I'm just going to set this down now. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder today. You can use any powder. I like this foundation with my Airspun, um, with my Milani, really anything. I just thought I'd use this one today. Dip into it with a little powder proof. And because I still want some of that luminosity to still stay through, I'm just really going to apply the powder to where I put the concealer mostly. So like my T-zone, really importantly, is under the eyes so that doesn't crease. And then wherever I just get a bit more oily. So like between my eyebrows, trim it up. Like really just the center of my face. I'm going to keep this all just as it is. And it actually isn't very tacky. I know a lot of luminous foundations, if you don't set them down, they're very tacky. And then that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole luminous dewy look. But this one sets down really nicely. I just set the T-zone down with powder so it doesn't look like overly dewy, if that makes sense. And those are the places my skin naturally produces more oil. So I just like to set that T-zone down and then let the rest of the skin kind of be on its own. Now I'm gonna use cream and powder over this foundation to finish off my face today. Just so you guys can see how different products kind of layer on top and everything like that. I do think, you know, showing you how the foundation looks on its own is very essential, but also showing you how other products work with it is also essential because a foundation could be great, but if it doesn't work with other products, you're not gonna be able to finish your makeup look. So I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild um, Cushion Bronzer. I'm just gonna dip in there with this Real Techniques brush. I'm gonna do some real quick cream bronzing on the skin. Just really effortless with this and as you can see it's not shifting the product underneath. Like the foundation is set down and it's not shifting it even though I'm moving the brush with another cream product on top. And I'm just putting like a bit on my forehead, just kind of stamping it in. This is a very natural bronzer and I like using it because sometimes cream bronzers can be like super intense. Pinch my brush. Slightly contour my nose a little bit. I'm going to also do a cream blusher today. I'm going to use this ColourPop stick blush in the shade Aloha. Just gonna go on with the same brush and take some product on it. And I'm just gonna stamp it on both cheeks. I'm gonna take a bit on the nose as well. Look how beautiful everything looks on the skin right now. It just blows my mind away that this foundation really works so well as a base for other products. Now, because I said I would show you guys both cream and powder, I'm going to take my uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer with this Morphe Large Stipple Brush. And I'm going to just quickly graze over the skin and kind of set down that cream bronzer and just bronze anything up that wasn't before. I'm going to take this Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. Dip in quick a little bit more blush. I'm so obsessed with blush lately that it's like the more the better. And then just to finish off this look, some highlighter of course. I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Highlighter in the shade Dolce Perla. I just started using this and it is gorgeous on the skin. Such a beautiful champagne color. I love it. I'm just gonna hit right on the top of the cheekbones. I have like a mosquito bite on my face here so that doesn't look the best under there but it's fine. We're still gonna highlight, add some shine to the skin. Alright guys, so that's a really the demo part of this video. You guys got to see how the foundation applied, how other products layered over it, how the foundation set down, everything like that. And honestly, my skin looks so, so good. I'm obsessed with how this foundation looks. And you saw that I didn't really do full, full coverage. I mean, I probably could have probably could have built it up to more of a medium to full, not completely full because you would still be able to see a few of my uh, freckles and stuff poking through. But this is kind of the coverage I like with this foundation.
where it covers most things but I still like my skin to look fresh and it's still very breathable and everything like that so there is the demo. Alright so now that you guys just saw the demo let me share with you guys my thoughts on this foundation. So first of all I'm absolutely obsessed with how it looks on the skin. Um, I think it looks so fresh and beautiful and it really has that your skin but better type look to it where you get some coverage out of it um, but it still just doesn't doesn't sit on the skin weird it really just works with the skin really well and I love that about it I would definitely say this is probably a foundation for more dry or normal skin um, since it is pretty dewy I think you could probably use it if you have more oily skin if you set it down but that kind of defeats the whole dewy look if you have oily skin I would highly recommend the original photo focus that one is definitely very matte and very locked down very foolproof foundation so if you already have the regular photo focus there is a very significant difference between these two foundations the regular photo focus first of all it dries down right away like you apply it to the skin and you have to work fast because it will dry down I also don't love that foundation with a brush it's definitely more of a sponge foundation just because of its consistency um, and you do want to work with it fast but it does set down on the skin really beautifully and it has a very thin formula to it but it still gives you a lot of coverage so that's what I love about it it's great um, I love it in the summer too when um, I want something that will last a little longer through the heat and all I love it in the winter even though I do have more dry skin it doesn't dry out my skin so that one is amazing this one is definitely a very different formula I would say I prefer a brush with this foundation just because a sponge is just gonna absorb it right away um, so definitely use a brush and you won't have to worry about streak marks or anything like that because it just blends out really beautifully as long as you're using some type of buffing foundation brush just like the ones I used in the demo something a little thicker it's really going to distribute the product well this one also does set down not as fast as the original um it definitely has a little bit more time for you to play around with it but it still sets for a dewy foundation like as you guys saw I didn't set the exterior of my face and I didn't have to worry about it being tacky or it not working with other products you can still use powder products over it if you don't set it down which is is awesome I probably prefer this one when I want more natural glam days and I know that's weird to say when you're wearing a full face of makeup but it does definitely feel a lot lighter on the skin it gives you I would say less coverage but it's a very nice coverage if that makes sense it's definitely buildable but I would say it's kind of a light to medium coverage you're not really gonna get that full full coverage out of it unless you build up a ton of layers and at that point it kind of defeats the purpose of the foundation I would just use something else whereas the original photo focus is definitely a full coverage foundation although you can make it very light coverage due to its light um, consistency. It applies in very light layers and then you can get a very light look out of it. This one, I would just kind of get it if you're looking for something that's light to medium coverage, which I think is absolutely perfect for summer, especially. Um, it's so beautiful just to have like a your skin but better foundation, something that's gonna give you coverage, but make your skin look really, really healthy and good. And I definitely think this is what this foundation achieves. I also do like it because it doesn't crease a lot. I would say I could wear for a full like eight hours um you know maybe some touch-ups here and there um and it will work great I definitely don't think it's as long lasting as the original but again the original is that foolproof super set down formula that will just lock into the skin and last a long time Kind of my last thoughts on it is I love how it feels on the skin. It feels very, very light. It's very hydrating, not drying at all. And it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. It doesn't feel heavy. Uh, some foundations that are especially dewy, I find, because a lot of them stay tacky and don't set down. You can just kind of feel them on your skin and you don't want to touch your face because it's like all dewy and just kind of gross. This one, because it sets down nicely, you won't get that. It feels very light on the skin, like I can touch my face. It's not going to feel super tacky or anything. It honestly just feels like a light moisturizer, to be honest. It's the perfect foundation for me this summer, and I think a lot of you will actually like it. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you were trying to get some thoughts or um, some reviews on the uh, new Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation, I have definitely been loving it. But anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching. Please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to turn on my post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!